Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? By integrating Discord and D&D Beyond, you can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together. money really worth all this? It's not about the credits. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I bet you have. You're not getting the drop on the villains with sounds like that. Your game needs Sirenscape. The Sirenscape online player has a huge library of epic sounds for any situation. Epic games need epic sound. Go to Sirenscape.com to get started today. Customized jersey from MithralArmory.com, proud sponsor of Champions of the Realm. I'm Becca Scott. And I'm Uriah Faber. And we are here at Champions of the Realm. We're gonna watch a seven bout D&D battle between some incredible players and we will crown just one Champion of the Realm. We've got some amazing matchups this tournament. Let's take a look at who's on the docket. Today's Combatants brought to you by Sirenscape. Dungeons and Dragons means a lot because as a stage performer, it's uh, a, a joy to be able to immerse myself into these characters and then to have the ability to not only do that but create their character from the ground up and then really explore their journey from start to end or potentially end uh, is a blast and a dream. Uh, Vlanya is an elf and I created her when I was 12 years old and over time she is 
<laughs> evolved quite a bit. She went from a rogue wizard and now is a bard wizard. And she's, uh, for this, she's coming back into her roots of kind of roguey thiefy. I had to realize very quickly that I'm not playing a human, even though his name is Human. I'm playing three kobolds, just three different personalities, and I'm trying to blend them all into one since I'm only representing one. Uh, but, you know, I decided to just have fun, be chaotic, just go into this bout, uh, having a good time, hoping to steal all the shiny things. My strategy. I don't want to give away all my strategy. I'll be playing for Color of Change. Uh, Color of Change is the nation's leading uh, racial justice organization focusing on uh, empowering black communities, uh, fighting injustice, uh, holding community leaders uh, accountable, and just making sure that the black existence isn't seen as a burden. It's just who we are, and they help with that. I am playing for Jasper's Game Day because my mentee, Fenway Jones, means so much to me, and what she does means so much to everybody. Voices echo from beyond the reaches of our reality. Their whispers speak of what could have been, what has been, and what could still be. To hear the voices is a blessing and a curse. We must listen carefully, for there is knowledge in the echoes. Your customized jersey from MithralArmory.com, proud sponsor of Champions of the Realm. All right, Uriah, I am so excited to see Omega Jones's human come in the ring today. Do you think he's actually human? Does anybody think he's actually human? I mean, I think you can be human if you decide you're human, but that's definitely three cobalts as well. In the, in the D and D world, are you good at singing if you're a bard? Uh, I think that yeah, you're you're definitely good at singing. You definitely have the power to inspire people with those songs. But what's interesting today is that both of these characters have some levels of bard and will be able to use psychic blades to turn that inspiration into physical harm. Gotcha. The bards can can sing. Can they bring people to their knees with singing? Is it all good songs? I mean. How does that work? I think we're about to find out. We are about to find out. All right, and now get ready for Vlanya. This Elandrin bard wizard is about to take the field in style. You know, what I like about her, she's stealthy. She's extremely charismatic. I feel like she's always got a smile, but I feel like there's something behind the smile. Absolutely. Yes, she is a wizard level five, so she's definitely got a lot of spells to slang, but the thing I'm particularly excited to see is some chronomancy on the field. There's a spell called Chronal Shift that is going to force her opponent to kind of rewind that clock, have to re-roll if she doesn't like the roll, so that could be pretty sweet. I've never heard of that before. I'm looking forward to seeing if that does come into play. So you believe in time travel? Uh, I believe anything is possible. There we go. There we go. And we're going to see it on this battlefield. Let's get to the action with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! This match is brought to you by Will Smith and sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons and Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. When the action begins, our dungeon master will be Jason Azevedo! Introducing first, portrayed by Satin Phoenix, and playing for Jasper's game day, she's in a lodge bard and wizard, spy master, and band manager of the Sirens, fighting! Out of the Shade Lands, presenting the Mother of Mirrors, Lania. Their opponent, portrayed by Omega Jones, 
and playing for color of change. Standing at a normal human's height and weighing exactly what a human should weigh. He's a human rogue and bard and definitely not three kobolds in a trench coat. Fighting out of Icewind Dale. Presenting the protege of Jaraxxal, Human! We've gone over the rules. Five rounds in Dungeons and Dragons combat. You can spend hit dice in the break. Conditions reset. Effects stay. Vlani, are you ready? Let's put on a show. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's roll initiative. This tale of the tape is brought to you by Forged Gaming. Here we have Hugh Man. A cobalt, or maybe three in a trench coat, but insists he is in fact a human. He's a level 5 rogue, level 3 bard, with an armor class of 14 and 67 hit points. He gets plus 4 to both dexterity and intelligence saving throws. Up next we have Lanya. She's an Eladrin, bard level 3, wizard level 5, with an AC of 17, a plus six to initiative rolls, and plus five to dexterity and charisma saving throws with 38 hit points. All right, you've been magically transported to an area you do not recognize. You do see that there is an impenetrable wall of evocation magic that creates an 80 by 80 foot cube, 80 feet wide, 80 feet tall. The first thing you feel and that you sense is the bitter cold. For those of you that may have been in Icewind Dale previously, <laughs> may recognize the location that you're currently in. I'd like you, Vlani, to please roll your initiative roll, as well as you, human. I got this. Okay. Go ahead. I have a 13 on the die, but I have plus six to my initiative. All right, that's a 19. I have a three on the die, and I have a plus two to my initiative, so that's a five. <laughs> okay, Vlania, you will be going first when we start combat. All right. Vlania, mm. as human looks across the expanse of the icy tundra, what does he see? Human sees a six foot two elf who smiles a giant Cheshire grin reaches under her hair for a spot of a shadow, kisses it, and blows it over to you. And behind you so stands shadow spawn, a, a shadowy, me. monstrous figure. So I would like to summon a fourth level shadow spawn. Okay, all right. Um, and as that happens, you feel that looming shadowy figure show up just behind you as the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. Oh. The funny thing is it goes after me and it has some burly stats at fourth level. Okay. So um, it can make two attacks. Okay. So that is uh, two rolls. One way or the other, he's gonna be surrounded behind him. Absolutely, that's a really good point. That is a 12 to hit for the first attack. Is that a hit? That does not hit uh, this human. <laughs> oh my goodness, I rolled a one! <laughs> uh, is there anything else you'd like to do for your, for your turn? Yes, I would like to bonus action, uh, misty step to partial cover here. Okay. Well, game master. Yes. If I want to like peek up and over, yeah. um, is that like partial cover, or is that full cover where I can be like? That would be part, well, yeah. So if you want to, as part of your turn, kind of come out as movement, do something and then move back, that's fine. Got it. But if you're showing yourself at all at the end of your turn, then that will be whatever cover exists. Then I would like to use partial cover. Okay, all right. So you can go ahead and move your awesome. miniature up top. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, yeah, that's good. Okay. So we're gonna say you have half cover up there. So I do a hair flip and kind of spin into nothing, but I would like to take full cover here, except for uh, a partial cover. Partial so, cover, yeah. Okay. Does that mean I'm stealthing up there if I'm trying to be 
stealthy about it. Um, you can't use your action to hide because you've already used your action to, to cast, right? Okay. So yeah. at this point, you just you're hunkering down behind, trying to get cover. Yeah. Um, so like three quarter cover. Yeah. And you miss these steps unless you want to move. If you want to move, and and try and stealth, um, I'm gonna allow you to do that. Give me a stealth check. Okay. That's a natural 20 mm. plus a lot. Oh, All right, so <laughs> um, you watch Human as uh, Human or Human? Human. Human. Uh, you watch Human as Vlanya disappears, mm -hmm. um, and you're not quite sure where she is okay. right now. Is that your turn? Correct, and okay. the Shadow Spawn is uh, commanded to uh, attack the kobolds. Okay, and it goes after your turn? Yes. Okay. Human, it's your turn. You see a uh, somewhat tall, uh, purple-snouted individual uh, with a big trench coat type of uh, overcoat uh, over their body. Um, they're a little wobbly, uh, but you know, it's fine. Most, most humans have a little wobble to them. Uh, but there's a little bit of whispering um, as they kind of like look around and peer and go, and they are going to realize that there is a big shadowy thing behind them. And as they turn around, a small yellow hand comes up and snaps as they go invisible using their action. Okay. I would like to reaction counterspell. All right. Note it. That's, that's cute. Counterspell flung. Very that's good. cute. Very good. As a snap happens and they realize nothing happens, they go, What's going on down there? Fix this! Ah! And they're just going to attempt to bonus action disengage okay. away from this creature okay. and come back here okay. to For hide. full cover? Full cover! All right, can you also give me a perception check? Just in case. I know that was a natural 20 over here, but if we can get a perception I check, will gladly. just to see if you know where she might be. That's a seven in total. <laughs> that is a failure. Is that the end of your round? I believe that was my action and that was my bonus action. And I moved. All right, let's go to the corners and we'll come back for round two. It seems like round one of combat, Human is just running and hiding unsuccessfully. If you watched his interview at the beginning of this fight and battle, he said he was going to be mostly hiding and avoiding, but it's not going so hot. It is not. We'll see if he can turn this around. This corner cam brought to you by Hero Forge. Build your custom mini today at HeroForge.com. She can counter spell. She can. She has a monster behind me. Yes, she does. And she can cover as well. Yeah, you're kind of screwed. I am. A lot going on right I now. am going to struggle. Yeah. Beloved. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. You summon the shadow. I rolled a one. And a 20, and a 20. Yeah, okay. So I am going to just give him everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with everything. You've got it. The okay. shadow will still attack, and you have so much more in your arsenal. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. Um, I feel bad for him, all three of them. They, they really are gonna die. They're kobolds, it doesn't matter. Oh, we can't eat them. Okay. Welcome to round two. Vlana, you have the first turn. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, can I see him? Um, give me a perception check. I'm small. That is an 11. <laughs> okay, you saw him run this direction behind that rocky outcropping, but you don't know where he went after that. Ah, so then I would like to get higher ground. Okay. So this is my movement, and okay. now I would like to see if I can see him. Okay, give me another perception check. Uh, I'd say with advantage on that. Okay. That is a 10. Okay. Uh, that is still not enough. Let's All right. Because I can't see him, and ma does magic missile hit even though I can't see him? The creature could see him from behind because there is, you didn't hide, you just moved. I, I yeah, I didn't have the ability to hide. I disengaged yeah. from yeah. him. Okay. Yes. So your creature could see him, you can't. Fantastic. Um, I can't, okay. So, so you, can, you can cast any spell that doesn't require line of sight. Fantastic. And, and target on your so what oh. I would like to do, 
What is my, how, what's the distance here? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60. Okay, 60. In the area where I believe he ran to, okay. I would like to cast Cloud of Daggers All right. at third level. Okay. Uh, I fill the air with spinning daggers. So. What's the radius on that? Um, that is five feet. Okay. So I'm going to do where I assume or I believe it's okay. going to hit. Okay. Give me a stealth check, and we may not keep this, but give me a stealth check in reverse so that I can at least know how well you're keeping your cover. Yep. And then we'll see on those perception checks and then see if, if you have a spot. I mean, you could take a chance on it um, and we'll give you disadvantage. 19. Right? Okay. okay, I would like to take a chance. From human okay, here. sure. So give yeah. me disadvantage on it. Uh, My perception. Under perception. Okay. So, here's the thing. I've got a thing. I would like you to re-roll. So Vlania feels a re-roll in, in the future, and she takes out of her pouch um, shards of mirrors. She's going to use her chronomancy wizard spell to force you to re-roll. Okay. okay. This is that powerful spell I was talking about. I feel like there's the urge of making me rewind time, and that's an interesting one. Uh, yes, that is a lot worse. That is a 13. That's a 13 stealth. stealth. I feel like human okay. feels a little right. outgunned so at this point. I wonder if it's going to dim the spirit. And a lot of times that can happen. Somebody sees things not going their way that are better hammered than a nail, and they start to fold. 15, so uh, disadvantage. That is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. <laughs> barely. Right. I, I just barely, barely beat you. Okay. I barely beat you. Okay, so you're having a really hard time. Mm-hmm kind of deciding or trying to figure out exactly where he might be in order to cast that spell. I would say if you cast it, you missed. Okay. Because of the perception check didn't. Um, so I've done that. I've got the idea that that is just going to be a little bit too rough. Yeah. In that case, okay, I would like to cast Shatter in that area. It is a 10-foot radius. I know it's going to hit. Okay. I would like to take one of the mirrors that I have in my hand. She's going to use up all her it. powers, or she she have more in the, Send in the tank? Send it over, and that, that is, is a very good cast. question. She yeah. only has so yeah. many spells. Okay, so that is a she con save. Be burning out here con at the beginning. Save. DC 13. She no, yeah. I wonder if this is part of his game plan, kind of like a Muhammad Ali rope-a-dope kind of deal. Let her throw all her stuff at him. Eight. All right, this is going to be 4d8 thunder damage. My shadow hasn't even gone yet. I will still suffer. Six. Eight, two, six. six. That's 22. 22 points of damage as these shards um, crash into you in a 10-foot sphere behind you. And there is a loud yelp. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and I sing right. a song. OK, let's hear it. And so the song that goes along with that is, this is not the greatest spell in the world. This is a tribute. Well, tenacious D reference <laughs> like there. Points Very good. Very good. All right. Um, and then your shadow creature? Yep. Now my shadow creature goes. All right. That's two attacks with plus six. Man, ten. Does not hit. Eighteen plus six definitely hits. That's 1d12 damage. And again, that was I will use my reaction uh, as plus whatever six. appendage hits me to my the, the trench coat almost looks like it bends as you know my other body decides to contort itself to uh, dodge some of that. So I'm using my uncanny dodge. All right, that's eleven points of damage, which is going to be knocked down to five or six. How do you do? You round up. Okay, we'll do that. We'll round up. All right. And so the rest of my movement, I will take to hide, uh, well, to lower myself to sure. this area. So his uncanny dodge. To, that, so you still want half cover? Do you want to be full cover? Gotcha. I will be full. I, I, I want to keep my eyes peeled. Okay. So I will be partial cover. Okay. Okay. So we'll say half cover. That's your turn? Yes. Okay. Human, your turn. I'm going to look at the big shadow creature. Uh, and start gibbering in Draconic, and if it's able to be heard, you'll hear, what is that? Nope, don't like you. 
and he's going to just kind of crawl up a little bit to yeah. see where Miss Velociraptor is. Yep. <laughs> and he will uh, kind of whisper to himself, say, You think I can hit her? You think I can hit her? Maybe I'll hit her and take her stuff. And he's going to use his action to pull out his light crossbow. <laughs> this uh, conversation's great. Loaded. Ready. Absolutely. He's going to aim and attempt to shoot her in the brain. Our first range weapon of the bout. Okay, you get your armor class bonus with your quarter cover. Range weapon. I didn't realize right. human man had a range so, weapon. That is and 19 attacking with a one-handed weapon. You see the tattoo the on my neck start to, to attack with the crossbow because he's that much of an expert. That there is something happening here. That does not hit. That is a 14 in total. That does not hit. Unfortunately, because of the three quarters cover, your bolt hits the side of the, of the rock and okay. deflects out of the way. I pick it up and I say, you're so cute. And then I <laughs> throw it. Toss aside, okay. Because <laughs> um, that's a shadow creature that can see me. She really can't right now. It's like right up on you. Yeah, and he doesn't like that. You're right. in my territory, in my home. I'm from Icewind Dale. You're not. Uh, I'm telling Joel Axel on you. He is going to attempt to climb downward. Ah! And um, it's gonna be half half speed. That's fine. Yeah. He's gonna get right here. Yeah. And try to. Um, You've moved out of range of the shadow creature. You were in. The, you haven't moved yet this turn, right? Um, <laughs> yes. Um, no, it would have got an attack um, of opportunity pr previously. Previously, okay, yes. So let's get attack of opportunity for that. That is nine, ten, eleven. An attack 12, of opportunity 13, occurs 14, when 15. you move out of that range will hit. of yeah. a melee range opponent. That is six points of damage. Note it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use my bonus action to really attempt to hide, like use the crevice of this rock okay. to actually hide. Stealth check. Hide check. Uh, because this cover that she has is not good. Dice, don't fail me. That is a 24. Okay. Is that your turn? That is my full turn. Okay, that is the end of round two. Head to your corners. We'll be back for round three. Today's players are wielding the Lost Odyssey Iron Legacy Collection dice sets, including a Hellforged Axe guitar case. Get your collector set at dogmite.com slash iron legacy. They're so wily and slippery. Only a coward hides in the shadows. And that coat, I mean, come on. It's kind of ragged. I'd say light it on fire. It's a good idea, baby. She can't see me right now, which means you won't be able to counterspell my stuff, which is good. That's right. And you start thinking if you need to use hit dice. Yes, mm. I would. Yes, I'm definitely going to use hit dice. Yes, okay. To just boost myself back up to a higher part. Do you think all of them? Not all of them. You don't need all of them. Three of them. Yeah, yeah. Three of them just to get myself back up to a good, meaty space. Welcome back to round three. All right, Vlania, again, it is your turn. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to let loose a cloud of daggers. Um, I, the last place that I saw the creature, I know that this, uh, I'm a very intelligent woman, um, could not have gone far. Okay. I'm going to trust my instincts. Okay, perception check. I am hiding? Yeah. That's uh, 16 twice, so is that a perception check? Yeah. That is going to be a 21. Okay, what was your high check? 24. Okay. All right. All right, so at this point you cannot see where he went. No. Um, you do know he came off the side of the, uh, of the, uh, man, the escarpment. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say at this point you can't perceive where he is. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I am out. I can take a hit. But that's okay, because I have a shadow spawn. And yep. my shadow is going to um, go in that area and try to look around. Okay, all right. Is it going to come up this way or is it going to go around? I believe it floats, so it's kind of okay. just kind of Okay, so go it's going to go over It is Yes, perception. and it, it will have higher ground yep. as well. Natural 20 on the first roll, and an 18 on the second roll. 20, 
18, 19, 20, 22, 23. <laughs> 24. Yeah. I'm a rogue. Ah. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> okay, so in that case, it can do something else. A dreadful scream. The spirit screams. Each creature within 30 feet of it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be frightened of it for one minute. So you hear this very hideous roar coming from behind you. Okay. Seven. All right. That awesome. Good. So I am frightened. So I'm okay. frightened by this thing for a moment. Yes. Uh, but since it can't see me, I am not at disadvantage because I am successfully hidden from it. Correct. Yep. And since I'm hidden from you as well, I'm going to reach out and I'm going to hit you with that crossbow at advantage because I'm coming out of hiding. Oh, that's true. Got you now! I don't know your name, but you're pretty! If this <laughs> hits, human will also get those sneak attacks. Okay, attack that die. is a 21 to hit or a 20 to hit. Okay. Both hit. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, oh, yeah, that was the first attack. Um, so that first attack was going to include my sneak attack and my uh, psychic blades. So, 1d8, uh, 2, so 4 plus, it's going to be 3d6 in total, because it's also going to use my bonus action. Sorry, it's going to be 5d6 in total. So that was 4, 9, 14, 20, 24, 26 Ouch. points of piercing and second. Sure what that means exactly, but 26 seems. Okay. Straight second high. attack, which I didn't roll yet, um, is. Get that cross shit right. Yeah. <laughs> second attack is 15. It does not hit. Okay. Okay. Goes wide. Her armor class is, that your is turn? 17. Yeah. yeah. 15. Yes. It does okay. not hit. That's the end. Round three. This is round four. How many hit dice are you spending? I got hit for 26 damage, yep. so I've got eight hit dice. I will spend half of them. Okay. I got you. Five, six, seven, plus eight is 14, 15, plus four. 15, 16, 18, 19. 19. Okay, so add 19 to your hit points. I'm good. All right. So, well, thank goodness you didn't hide this time, because you popped out to shoot me, and then you didn't hide. You say nothing, that fellow human! That was a rookie mistake. I'm gonna magic missile you at fourth level. Can't magic missile me? I'm just like you! You wouldn't <laughs> do that, would you? Okay, that's a lot of, that's a lot of <laughs> D4s. A lot of D4, okay, D4s. so uh, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of second level higher, it creates one and more human dark human is trying to slot. play to her soft side, Three. saying he's a human as well. I don't one. think she's buying it. Two. Uh, part of the stick is blending in. Three. I'm not sure that's going to pay off. Three. Twelve. Two. Fourteen. Fourteen plus six. Oh! Twenty! Twenty. Um... Okay. Ah! And then I'm going to move back over here because yeah. that's just trying to get. I, I'd say half cover. Yeah, I'm trying to get a partial. Yeah. I see, I see partial cover. And I say, sick him, boy. And um, my shadow creature is. Hey, going is it to going to descend? Uh, in front it, of it. It's going to. So it's going to shadow down on, down, top, on top of it. And so I what? Um, the attack is going to be at advantage because it is coming from above, and it's going to wrap itself around um, the at least the hood, if not um, as much of you as possible. Okay, does it get advantage a as part of its? If if a creature is attacking from above, they get advantage. In fifth edition? Oops, yes. Think that in now. That's it's uh, terrain. So if if he is lower and he attacks up, he has disadvantage. Oh, I didn't know that was a fifth edition. I didn't know it either. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We're all learning something here yeah. today. We're good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, first attack at advantage. Hit me. Otherwise, I'd check it. But thanks. That is a 18 to hit. Okay. Or, yeah, 18 is, is 18 hit? Um, as it attempts to hit me, you're going to see a little red hand come out and a pulse of magic uh, happens. It's like shield. Okay. Oh, nice. 19. Okay. It does not hit. All right, second attack. 
That is 16 to hit or a natural 20. But the second attack wasn't an advantage because it always came down, correct? It jumped down, it would have hit first and then been at my level, correct? Is it staying up or is it coming yeah, it's down? Oh, up. I thought it came yeah, down with it me. Hovers. Yeah. So, gotcha. Okay. Right. Then that's a twenty. That's fine. Repertoire. All right, that is two d twelve. He was ready Plus for this magic missile. 30. He knew it was coming and prevented it. That is a six. That is a one. Okay. Uh, plus three, so seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Noted. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I thought it came down. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, it's like up on you, up on yeah. the top of your. Head. Noted. I see that thing. I go. You're not the focus. Oh, you took damage last time, didn't you? Yeah. That's a concentration spell, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's probably too late. That's fine. That's well, no, nice. no, we can do. We can okay. still do a con save. Yeah. 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 You would need to um, yeah. beat a thirteen. Okay. With your con. That's a natural twenty. That's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Luck is on my side. Yeah, but um, those that that harp is gonna be on my side too. I, I can't hear you. You want to get a little bit closer? No. I'm going to <laughs> attempt to uh, shoot another uh, round of bolts at you. And note, I do have crossbow expert, so I ignore the loading property. You've been not having it. Uh, so let's try to hit you. And I am under partial cover. Are you? I would say half. half? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Perfect. that's Where? a plus two, that is yeah. a 19. In the corner, the, the, the ring around this doesn't allow it to get through. Um, I would say she's still this part. I gave, I gave you Did you? ability. No, I, I used it. I used a rogue feature to have a hide ability. No, you did, but you also have to break line of sight if you're going to try and hide. Okay. Okay. Uh, first attack. 13 probably doesn't hit. Second attack. It's only plus one, right? That's a natural 20. Oh! Shards leap out of my fingers. <laughs> she brought the shards on a natural 20. How many times, times can you use that? <sighs> okay. No. That's a 14 nail. That's, uh, I will... Bonus action disengage and oops, sorry. And come over here behind the um, tree. Is that water or is that ice? Uh, it's ice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess run, slide. You can get rid of that. Yeah, it would be difficult terrain, so it would be 10 feet to cross it instead of five. So five, 10, 20, 15, 20, 25. There you put your here. Okay. Okay. Is that the end of the round? That is <gasps> the end of the round. Yes. Okay. <sighs>
Can I see him from here? Uh, not. I got some cover. I would say not directly from where you are. You'd have to move out a little bit. Well, he's not hiding. He's not hiding. Fantastic. He's just well, yeah, yeah, I'm not hiding, but I'm, I'm yeah. intending to use that as cover from you, yeah. for sure. Okay, so I'm going to... <laughs> I'm gonna magic missile him. Okay. So uh, if I up. just peek my head out like this... Yeah, you go five feet, yep. There you go. Oh, hello! Oh, you've got a little something right there. Where? Okay, good. Okay, so I, I do a third level magic missile. That is going to be five... 5d4. 5d4 plus 5. 5d4s. 5d4s. 1, 4. This is one four, level lower than how she cast Magic Missile last three, time. So it's going to have two, one last dart and one last die. 14 plus 5. That is 19, 19 points of damage. In the fight game, it only takes then, one good shot on the button. You could hit someone in the wrong spot all day long. But if you hit them in the right spot, the fight's over. And take... Partial cover. Let me see that today. I say, oh little darling, go get that kobold. I'm Another song. Hungry. I'd like some barbecue. And uh, the shadow creature whoo, swoops forward. We heard the threat okay. when she was in her car minute, corner yeah, talking to her team right. that she just might barbecue oh, these kobolds in. This could be that the is moment. a one on the yeah, first. Uh, but it does get two attacks. A barbecue kobold yeah. does not Higher low represent yeah, or look like Higher low. a All right, human. That is going to be so, a human 21 to hit. Could be hurt. That will hit, and I will uncanny dodge. Yeah, I don't know where you're from, okay. but I've never had any barbecue reptile. I don't know if it would be that my choice. Is you got to do what you damage. can with what you've got. And it is up in melee with you. And actually, I would like to, it to be right in front of you. Okay. Yeah. I think having those additional attacks each and every round by casting her shadow yeah. friend in the first round has so, really yeah. been a huge We're boon fun. to Vlanya. Since this shadow spawn is right in front of me, yeah. if I peek from behind it to shoot her, yeah. am I effectively hiding? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but nice try. Yeah. Creativity can well, go a long okay way. You gotta exhaust I'm every going option. To it was. If I were in the DMC, I, like I think I would have let that one slide. Creativity points get you ruffle, places in this world. You see my overcoat begin to like ruffle as things start to happen. And what I would love to do is attempt to distract while I cast this spell, so it can't. So it's subtle enough that it can't be like. You don't realize I'm doing it. I feel a song coming so, on. How we haven't like seen one know? bard, uh, third level bard action. Um, so I, this song would I am be a good distraction right now. Spell that has Ooh, that's a great point. We did see the psychic point. blades so, come out to I'm deal some bard, additional so damage, but that's just, not why you become a bard. One of the kobolds on the inside is going to be casting this spell. It's not the one that's... Okay, uh, so I say sleight of hand. He's okay. afraid of my counter spell. <laughs> Why would I not be? <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see a, a, a purple hand come up uh, as if I'm going to shoot. Um, he used and the yellow hand and the red hand, hand earlier. To it's the first time we've seen the purple sneaky, hand. Sneaky, sneak. Uh, okay. okay. Final okay. round. You got to bring out please, all please, the cobalt please, hands. Please, 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 please. please, please. Oh, no. Say that. Twelve. Oh, hold on a second. Maybe. See, I'm like. My dice have not been good to me. No, I got a five. Oh, <sighs> all right. It's pretty adorable what you're doing. So as I go, I'm like, take this, redhead lady. And you see little jazz fingers come out. <laughs> um, and you hear uh, coming out a almost like a feminine voice and go, sleep, little baby, go to bed. Sleep, little wizard, I'll take your head. Um, as I cast sleep on you. I don't... <laughs> that is adorable. Uh... I don't, I have, adv I cannot, I can't be put to sleep. But he doesn't know. That. I don't know that. That's okay though. Are you immune to sleep or resistant? Uh, magic cannot put me to sleep. Okay. Because I am an elf. You know, that makes sense, but I'm still gonna do it. And the thing Three, about elves is they just five, don't need to sleep. They go low. into a trance. Man, I wish I was an elf. 17. 23. You're not even an opening act. You're like a Tuesday lunchtime act. Yasa, why is it not working? Yasa, why is it not working? 
and I'm literally going to look up at this shadow spawn, look back to Velasic, look back to her, scream as I disengage and just run as fast as possible. <laughs> I'm going to use my 30 feet of movement. I'm sorry, no, I'm going to dash. I'm going to, I'm not going to even disengage. Get your attack of opportunity. He's going to get dash. Oh, no, it's too, so uh, my shadow creature actually um, starts laughing and is like rolling on the ice laughing. He's full on raffle. <laughs> Love it. Because I'm going to use my 60 feet of movement just to just run, yeah. run yeah. probably to like the wall and start crawling to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. That's the end of round five. This result is brought to you by Noble Knight. Buy, sell, trade your tabletop collectibles at noblenight.com. Okay, so we had five epic rounds of combat there. We had a cobalt rogue, we had an Aladrin wizard, and I think it's pretty clear, but we'll find out in a few. What'd you think of the bout? I thought it was a good bout. Human, he called the shot. He said he was gonna be mostly getting out of the way, and unfortunately, he ended the fifth round scurrying away, trying to hide and looking kind of desperate to be honest and in my opinion i think that's gonna play over and kind of foreshadow the way the fight went absolutely when you see three cobalts scrambling out of their trench coat trying to escape the battlefield i, I guess my vote's kind of for vlanya who had a prowess stayed hidden most of the time and really casting that shadow at, at the first round of combat helped her all the way through the battle that was a huge move i mean honestly it was a double attack from the get-go, and I don't think Human was ever really able to, to escape that first attack. Absolutely. Well, we'll find out what Jason, our Game Master, has decided, so let's head on back over. All right, after five rounds of fifth edition combat in Dungeons & Dragons, I have scored this bout three rounds to two for your winner, and moving on to the semi-finals, Lanya. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here with your winner after five rounds of intense battle. It's Vlanya, still sporting that smile. Uh, what do you think was the key that made you the victor tonight? Well, magic will always defeat rogues. Well, we saw a lot of magic and uh, the rogue is known for being elusive, getting out of the way and he tried but didn't at the end get his game. What was your biggest move uh, tonight? Well, my chronomancy is really good. Having him re-roll, that's it's brutal. Also, counterspell, wonderful. Yeah, I feel like you took the wind out of his sails a couple times with those counter moves, and uh, you're the victor tonight. So, looking forward to your next battle. Thanks for playing. Okay, human, you fought valiantly for <laughs> five rounds. It wasn't a victory this time, but how are you feeling after this bout? Well, I'm feeling great. Uh, I knew going into it, it was gonna be very hard to fight not just Vlania in general, but just like a rogue versus someone who's primarily magic. Uh, just trying to get out of the way and do what I can, but it didn't work out and that's okay. Absolutely. Do you think it was helpful to be three cobalt stacked on top of each other? Or maybe next time would, would one cobalt in the fight be more advantageous? What is your thoughts about being technically three entities fighting here today? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm 100% a human, and I'll be talking to my lawyer, Jill Axel, for saying that I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna lawyer up myself, and we're gonna see what happens in this next bout. This tournament update brought to you by Satine's Quest. Sign up for your ultimate RPG vacation experience at satinesquest.com. Join us next week for another quarterfinal match.